So I've been getting a lot of questions about my Turbo Subaru WRX motor install. Uh, a lot of questions about the transmission. Uh, what kind of transmission do I have? Will it hold up to that much horsepower? Uh, and a lot of people just want a drive around the block. <laughs> so we're gonna do both of those. Today I am actually going to be swapping out the clutch. So it's a good time to talk about the transmission, what kind of clutch I'm using. And after I'm done, which probably won't take that long, uh, let's go for a drive down by the beach. Cool. Okay, why am I putting in a new clutch? <laughs> Somebody uh, who drags cars says, hey, he's got a lot, a big horsepower motor with a turbo and everything, and he just runs a stock super, or, or stock VW with a, with a really nice disc. Well, I tried it on my 227 horsepower Subaru WRX motor. It was slipping like crazy. Couldn't really even drive it. You gotta like really ease into it, but you couldn't like really go for it. So I was trying it. Don't bother, it's not gonna work. Don't, don't worry about what everybody says. I tried it, it's not gonna work. Okay, so here's what the clutches, your options are. This is the stock VW. Uh, I like to think of this one as less than 100 horsepower. Just do a nice disc. I don't like the ones with the springs in them like this because the springs break. In fact, I actually had one with springs. It only lasted like 1,500 miles and, I, and then I had to pull the engine because of it. So I do these rigid discs. Stock, uh, under 100 horsepower, use a stock. I don't have a stage one, but a stage one uh, Kennedy clutch system is for 1,700 pounds, or I like to think of it at 100 horsepower up. Now, I have this Kennedy stage two right here that I just bought with a rigid disc. Uh, this one, the stage two Kennedys are rated at 2,100 pounds, and I like to think of these as like 200 horsepower and up. I'm gonna run this right now. Uh, I have here, here, this is the Kennedy Stage 3 with a uh, the six puck clutch disc. Uh, this is rated at 2,300 pounds, or I like to think of them as 300 horsepower. This is what I ran with my uh, 300 horsepower TSI motor. noticed that when I did the clutch all I did was back up the transmission about six inches or so just enough to get my hand into the pressure plate bolts and that was it I didn't collect I did not disconnect any of the electrical I did not disconnect the fuel I did not drain the water or even disconnect the radiator hoses or anything all I did was back it out drop it down a few inches so I could get my hand that's it that's why it probably only took me less than two hours to do it <laughs> so one of the biggest questions I get is about the transmission and will it hold up to the Subaru turbo motor uh, the story behind that is I was in Moab, Utah for about five months helping my sister build a log cabin. Telluride Ski Resort was about two hours away. So I said, hey, I'm going to go snow skiing. <laughs> so, uh, so I, uh, now this transmission, it was a 1969 transmission. It always had a bearing noise, uh, but it had lasted me about two years. 
on my way to Telluride, I, I got within about 30 miles of Telluride, and first I lost first gear. 10 miles later, I lost second gear, and then I lost third gear, and so all that was left was about fourth gear. I got within about five miles of Telluride, driving in fourth gear only with the original stock uh, VW engine, and all of a sudden it started going uphill, you know, and of course the engine died, and I started to go backwards, <laughs> and uh, yeah, the, uh, the transmission completely locked up. That was probably the first time ever that I ever had to tow this car, ever. Uh, I had to put it, actually, I had to put it on a flatbed because it literally was locked up, <laughs> wouldn't roll. So I towed it, I had to flatbed it. Uh, my, uh, my nephews, uh, <laughs> uh, Corey and Wiley, drove all up from Moab to uh, flatbed me and, and tow me home on a flatbed. Uh, and then I ordered a, what I did is I went ahead, because it was a 1969, which is a very uh, weak transmission, I ordered a Pro Street uh, freeway flyer transmission from Rancho Performance Transmissions in California. So this car had a 1969 transmission. I upped it to the 1972 transmission. The difference between a 69 and the 72 is the throwout bearing is different. Uh, I actually had a problem with the throwout bearing. I actually lost it in uh, Washington at Mount Rainier National Park. Uh, where the, uh, the throwout bearing came off of the, the fork and just disappeared. <laughs> and so I actually had to drive 40 miles back to my campsite without a clutch. <laughs> but the 1972 transmissions, the, uh, the clutch throwout bearing rides on a tube so that it never falls off. Uh, now the difference in transmissions is my 1969 transmission only had two drive gears that drove the CV shafts. When you order the Pro Street differential, you it has four uh, drive shafts. So therefore, it's twice as strong. <laughs> now, the difference between the stock transmission and the freeway flyer transmission is the stock transmission has four 12 gears and the freeway flyer has a 388 gear. So it's much taller and it can keep up with traffic. So I actually had to install the Rancho Performance transmission in the snow in Moab, Utah, during the winter. Now the Pro Street transmission actually has hardened side covers, which are a half inch thick. So it's much stronger than the factory 69 transmission. So after installing the new performance transmission, with my original VW motor, I noticed that I really could not use it with my stock motor. It was so much slower in fourth gear that I could barely go uphill. I actually had to shift down to third gear almost every time, even with the slightest incline. So those people that are putting freeway flyer transmissions on a stock VW motor, you simply don't have the horsepower. That's when I only had this transmission in for about a month when I found for sale a Subaru turbo motor. I wasn't originally looking for a turbo motor, but since it was there and it was for sale, I decided to buy it. Uh, that solved all my issues, and that's actually the main reason why I got the Pro Street Freeway Flyer in the first place is I knew I was going to upgrade to a Subaru motor anyways. So why did I go with Rancho Performance Transmissions in California? Well, they're actually the only transmission company that offers a five-year warranty, and that's a no-brainer. Oh, by the way. I installed these cool LEDs. <laughs> I could go blue, red, purple, green.
uh, Wikiwachi Springs, and this is actually where I put my kayak in uh, a lot of times. But as you can see, there is no parking on the on the weekends. So I usually kayak during the week. <laughs> there is no parking. Parking is swamped. Because Florida swamps. <laughs> miles on the car today. <laughs> uh, you can see it's running at about a, well the gauge says 190 degrees but uh, it's actually not, it's 10 degrees off. It's actually running about 180 degrees. We're really just cruising around anyways. I got a full tank of gas. When it comes to power it's not really first, second in gear. It's actually fourth that you need the horsepower, and that I never had with the air-cooled VW. I never had any power in fourth gear. I couldn't go up the hills, but now I could be in fourth gear and take this car. 